While potty training a puppy is never truly easy, there are many, many steps that can each take away a little bit of the difficulty. Even with all the tips and tricks in the world, you will still have a considerable amount of work and time to get your golden doodle fully housebroken. In the end, how well both you and the new puppy do will boil down to patience and consistency on your end. If you are ready to undergo this task, below is a complete list of steps to potty training your new doodle. Before I move on with the video, I want to ask you a simple question. Do you want to train your dog for any basic commands like sit and stay? Do you want to stop any of the behavioral problems of your dog like pooping inside the house, biting, jumping, or barking? If your answer is yes, please grab the free dog training secrets guide in which I have disclosed the deepest dog training secrets that professional dog trainers don't want you to know about. These training secrets would help you have a well-behaved, super intelligent, smart and obedient dog without spending hours in training him or her. This secret training technique ebook is available for free only for a limited time. So go and grab it before it's too late. Link to the free ebook and training videos is in the description below. Steps to house training a golden doodle. Step 1. Feed and water your puppy on a schedule. Go outside immediately after for a potty break. Step 2. Restrict your puppy to one or two rooms, preferably where you or the family are. You must not let the puppy learn that sneaking off to another room is the alternative to controlling elimination. Step 3. Use a crate or baby gates for your puppy when you aren't where you can supervise. Never use the crate as punishment for accidents, the crate is meant to be a safe space. Step 4. You must take the puppy out a lot in the beginning. Step 5. Use, control, words to associate with the elimination. As your puppy is going, repeat your control word like, go pee pee, or, go potty. Step 6. Reward your puppy after the deed, either with treats or joyful praise. In the early stages, be sure to overdo it. Ignore the neighbors, what do they know? Step 7. Until the puppy learns to hold it, do not expect signals to go outside. That will come later, most puppies will not be able to hold their bowels or bladder until they are around 4 months old. Step 8. Do not punish or make a fuss when the puppy accidents occur. This will confuse your puppy since it doesn't know why you are upset. They have long memories regarding scary incidents. Feeding routine and bowl monitoring. Feeding and drinking are obviously the culprits behind your puppy's need to eliminate. Monitoring his or her food and drink consumption will help you get a better idea of when to take them out. The frequency puppies need to relieve themselves depends largely on their feeding routine. You need, therefore, to plan a meal schedule that matches the puppy's potty training regimen of your choice. Potty training and feeding schedule should work well together. Constant monitoring. Keep your puppy where you can see him or her at all times while potty training. Doing this, you can catch early signs that your puppy needs to go potty in order to prevent accidents. Signs that they need to relieve themselves include sniffing, scratching, and circling. Once they begin to get older, they may also learn that the door is where they need to go. This can happen before they are truly trained, so do not be fooled into allowing them alone. Crate train for unsupervised times. When you cannot watch your puppy or you need to leave your home it is necessary to use a crate. The puppy will be reluctant to mess up their crate which they see as their home or safe place. The crate should not be too large so the puppy will not use one area for sleeping and another as a bathroom. Crate training is one of the most efficient techniques to potty train your puppy. The crate does not have to be an actual crate but can be any sort of den that you can let your puppy go to feel safe. This can also help your puppy get used to eliminating his or her waste every time he or she gets out of the crate. Take them outside frequently. As annoying as it is to interrupt your cleaning, relaxing, TV show, or dinner. Taking your puppy outside as often as every 30 minutes, and no more than one hour apart at the beginning, will help minimize accidents in the house. This is not a forever thing, 
but something to do at the beginning to establish in their minds that they will have the opportunity as often as they need to go. Even if no signs are shown of needing to relieve themselves, take them out and allow them a few minutes to do their business. Use a single command. Choosing a specific word command can be helpful, especially down the road. Much like teaching your pet his or her name, the puppy will start to recognize the command and learn what to do. To avoid any confusion, use that word command only when you train them to go potty. Repeat your unique command word in an upbeat voice tone each time your puppy is in the act to go potty. The command could be anything from potty to hurry up. Do you want to have a well-behaved, obedient and calm pet dog without spending hours in training him? Check out the first link in the description and download the secret training technique guide absolutely free. It is available for free only for a limited period of time. Thanks for watching the video. Comment below if you liked the video. Please subscribe to the channel, Little Paws Training, if you are serious about training and grooming your dog. Also, join our Facebook group where you get all the solutions to your daily doggy problems.